I'm actually, I'm painting a 3D print right now. Amy Kowalchuk prepares a jawbone for a new exhibit at the Royal Tyrrell Museum. The replica is based on a fossil tens of millions of years old. And especially in paleontology, we're dealing with priceless specimens that are very, very delicate, and you really don't want to be damaging them. These days, Kowalczuk spends a lot of her time behind a lens, building digital blueprints of the museum's discoveries. You just have to take multiple photographs from multiple angles, and then from that you can triangulate them using computer programs, and then that gives you your 3D model. That modeling is helping the museum show off some of its most fragile but impressive finds. This tyrannosaur specimen, known as the exploded skull, has 41 pieces, some of them extremely delicate. Thanks to some 3D printed elements, it's now on display. At the front here, we have the part of the brain that's responsible for sense of smell. The technology is also adding a new dimension to Francois Terrien's research on dinosaur brains. He's using reconstructed brain cavities to get a better idea of dinosaur behavior, including how they tracked their prey. Before trying to reconstruct the, the brain structure or the brain shape of, a, of these extinct animals required a lot of work. We needed to break the bones or have skulls that were already broken and then pour latex in there and try to peel out an endocast or a cast of the brain cavity. Now we can all do that with CT scanning and 3D printing. So we can ask a lot of questions that uh, previously would have been on a, uh, impossible to do. More and more museums are digitizing their collections, helping dinosaurs come alive for researchers and fans alike. Alison Dempster, CBC News, Drumheller, Alberta.